right, guys, let's take a look at this watch. Most of you have probably never heard of this brand. This is Detroit Watch Company. So we'll cover all this stuff first, but let's get into the meat of this, the watch. That's why you guys like to watch this channel is because of the watches. So let's look at the watch. So right out of the gate, let's just cover the measurements. This is a 42 millimeter full polished case. Lug to lug, 51 and a half millimeter. Nice turned down lugs. It's only 10.3 millimeter thick with a sapphire flat crystal with AR coating. 22 millimeter lug width here. Crown is about 6.9 millimeter, just under that 7 mil. Push pull crown, 50 meter water resist. So you're going to be able to wind the ETA2824 from the static position here. You're going to be able to pull it out and you're going to be able to adjust the time. On their website, they do say that it could be an ETA2824 or a Salida movement. This one actually has the ETA2824 in it. I did take a peek and verify that. In its current configuration, it weighs in at 94 grams. Excellent handmade full leather strap with a very well done clasp system. Not quite a butterfly, I guess I don't know what we call this, kind of. It's like short on this side, a little bit longer on this side with double pusher and then a nice signed hardware. But it's going to fit good on wrist, which we'll show that in a moment. Here's a look at the case back. Custom rotor to match the custom dial. Everything on this watch is custom. There's like nothing really off the shelf on this. So the old timers in the show are gonna recognize this dial. It looks very familiar, right? Well, not that long ago, really it wasn't that long ago, there were rotary phones hooked to a phone cord that went to the wall and you had to pick up the receiver and you stuck your finger in a hole and turned it clockwise to the stop, which the stop would have been right about where this three and four is. That's why those are darked out because that's where the finger stop would be. And you rotate that around depending on what number. Now, where the two is right here, that would have basically been the one. It went one through nine with a zero, I think, all the way towards the end. So you would have stuck your finger in the hole and rotated it around and then let go. And then it basically counted like these clicks. Because I remember as a kid, I experimented with the phone a lot. And if you took the phone off the receiver, you could actually uh, quick tap the two um, plungers and you could actually go one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. And you could actually call like that instead of using the rotary. I don't know if you guys knew that or not. Totally useless information at this point because nobody uses a rotary phone. So there you go. You can, uh, I don't know how you would ever use that information, but there you, you have it now. So this is the Detroit Watch Company City Collection, and this is the 313. They released this one at first because 313 is the area code, the, the main big area code that was in Detroit area. There's a ton of different area codes now because the city is so sprawling. And since they've released other area codes, so I'll put a link in the description to the Detroit Watch Company, and you can check it out. There's a ton of other watches, and hopefully I can reach out to these guys and I can see some of these other watches they need to get these watches on the YouTubes and have people see them because they are well built. They're hand assembled in Detroit. And, uh, you know, there's not like a brick and mortar or anything like that. You pretty much order them online. Uh, maybe one day I'll be able to set up a meet with them, but the, they don't have like a storefront or anything like that. And uh, they, they just do low production. They're all limited edition and everything like that. It's I'm sure it's a full-time business. Looking at the uh, spread here, it seems very professional. I can't believe this would be a hobby. This is definitely more than a hobby. So let's take a closer look and we'll cover some more details. You can see it's, it's a sandwich dial or a two-piece dial, if you will. You can see you have the top por portion there that is a, a rotary phone cutout. And then you have the white with the black underlay, black printing and then gray printing on the three and four, obviously. Nice full polished handset, partially skeletonized with a small strip of BGW9 loom on the hands only. There's no other loom anywhere else. You'll also notice, notice the absence of a like railroad track around the outside for fine tuning, you know, your minutes or seconds. This is going to be more of just a, uh, a sport gentleman type watch where you're just going to, you're going to be able to tell the time on it. No problem. You know, if you're going to be into super accuracy, then, you know, maybe you should have a quartz watch anyway because automatics are inherently inaccurate, even though this one does have a regulated 2824 in it. 
so it will perform very well but there is deviations with automatic movements so you do have the you know on the fives all the way around printed on the outside of the track there with a small touch on the bottom there of mi michigan usa meaning that it is assembled in michigan in usa so and then the counterbalance on the second hand there you have the detroit d as well as you do at the uh, just below the 12 in that center section let's move these hands out of the way so you can see the 313 automatic printing on there as well not a whole lot of printing on the dial but you really don't need anything else i mean there's there's the right amount of information for this style of watch you also have a very cool signed rotor there that's almost like a black onyx or something like that but that's the uh, pontchartrain emblem there which is also their um company logo and everything that, these are all ties to detroit so if you're not from southeast michigan you're not going to know this stuff but maybe you uh have some family there or some ties there but an oversized custom rotor to match the dial very cool and you can see this is a higher grade ETA because there is some perlage work and some fancy stuff there. You can see this is number 39 of 200, but I think it's the Detroit Watch Company 313 code uh, series one. So I don't know that it's necessarily you know locked in that they're only gonna make 200 of these. I'm sure they can make more than that. They're just gonna release them in a different series, but they have tons of other models too. So let's zoom back out. Let's check out a wrist shot of this. And I also want to say a big thanks to my buddy Detroit Spartan. I know you guys keep hearing me name drop him, but uh, he has quite the collection and he was gracious enough to allow me to see them and video them. So here it is on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. I need to tighten that up one spot probably, but uh, very comfortable on wrist and it just it wears great it's this would easily be just a regular everyday type wear watch because of the, the thin nature of it it's super comfortable also comes with um, some sort of microfiber here and it has their company logo on it and everything and then if we take a look well we can take a look at the box it comes in a nice box push button pretty simple hinged uh, all padded and everything like that pretty simple there and then you have this is the uh, city collection 313 um, really nice printed pamphlets here goes through the operation there's obviously some information about the city's history I mean the Detroit watch company so they're gonna have to you know obviously um, have big ties to everything this one has a solid case back uh, with uh, in this picture here but in the there's all the specs on it this one definitely says ETA 2A24 on it, but on their website, it, they have a disclaimer that they can use the SW. It's just one of those things, you know, if um, you can't get the ETA 2A24, they, got, they have to keep making watches so they can maybe get the Salida or something like that. Here's some other watches. They have some GMTs. This is actually a pointer date. Um, they have some really cool watches for sure. So hopefully I can get a, a look at some of these other ones. Yeah, check out the main plate on that. That actually has their logo printed on the on the name or on the base plates and everything. These are really cool. I want to check out more. And the receipt comes in a little envelope with a thank you and everything like that. So a real personal, nice touch. It's, it's small operation. It's micro brand ish, but like professional micro brand. You know what I mean? So let's kill the lights, and you'll get a small glimpse of the the loom. I guess it's almost not worth showing, but. There is a touch of loom on there, but you can't orientate it or anything like that. You don't really know where it's at. So it could have been not there too. It could have just been white printing on the hands and that would have been fine as well. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next bit.